All right, so we want to simplify and add like terms. So I asked you to pause and see if you could uh, manage this addition and subtraction piece. So I'm going to show you the answers. Okay, so the first one I'm going to rewrite as a square root of negative 1 times square root of 4. That's 2i plus 4i plus i is equal to 7i. Second one, 7i minus 3i minus 6i is equal to negative 2i. And then the last one I end up with uh, the square root of one, negative 1 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 6 is 2i root 6 plus the square root of 4 times the square root of 6 is 2 root 6 which we're going to leave as 2i root 6 plus 2 root 6. Okay, this brings us to classwork 3.2.2. Uh, you're going to simplify then add like terms here. So please copy this down and I'll give you a moment. All right, so let's move on. Let's talk about multiplication operations with imaginary numbers. The square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 is what value? What do you think? Okay. The square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 is negative 1. So a quantity that when multiplied by itself is equal to negative 1. All right. <clears throat> so this is something that you need to remember. You can also think of it this way. Uh, this is a fractional form for an exponent, which we haven't really talked about yet. Negative 1 to the power of 1 half times negative 1 to the power of 1 half. Uh, in terms of exponents, which we'll talk about later, you're going to you have the same base and you're multiplying, you're going to add the exponents. Uh, you keep the base, negative 1, add the exponent, it becomes uh, negative 1 to the 1, which is negative 1. All right, multiplication. So let's go through this. Let's see if you can tell me what i to the power of 1 is. I'm going to tell you it's the square root of negative 1. Then what's i squared, what's i cubed, and what's i to the fourth. So pause here. Let's see if you can manage that. All right, so we get the square root of negative 1. And then i squared, we said, was negative 1. And then <clears throat> i cubed is i squared times i, which is negative i. And then i to the fourth is negative 1 times, is i, i to the fourth is i squared times i squared, which is negative 1 times 1. All right, let's see if you can figure out i to the fifth through i to the eighth. And pause. All right, you end up with the same set of numbers. Square root of negative 1, negative 1, uh, negative i, and uh, 1. Because i to the fifth is just i times i to the fourth. All right, and so this pa uh, processor pattern keeps repeating itself, uh, which means that we can calculate the value of i to the power of 752. And we're going to do that uh, by uh, taking a look at what the remainder is. <clears throat> so if I divide 752 by 4, and then I get whatever the remainder is, remainder of 1 tells me it's i, remainder of 2 tells me it's 2, i squared, remainder of 3 tells me it's i cubed, remainder of 0 tells me it's i to the fourth. Because these patterns just keep on repeating themselves. So we divide by 4. Uh, and so I think, let me give you the answer. All right, I did some long division here. I ended up with uh, 188 if I divided 4 into 752 with a remainder of 0. Um, so if I go back here, it tells me if I have a remainder of 0, it's i to the fourth. And i to the fourth uh, is going to be equal to uh, just 1, right? So uh, I have, uh, that is the value of uh, 7 i to the power of 752. This is 1. Um, all right, so what about uh, 1753? Let's, let's see if you can handle this one. So divide by 4, whatever the remainder is. Uh, take a look at the table that I just gave to you. Uh, and that's the value of i to the power of 1753. Okay, it ends up being i. Um, all right, uh, what is the value of square root of negative 3 times the square root of negative 3? I think we got this here. Square root of negative 3 times the square root of negative 3 is negative 3. All right, so let's multiply these numbers now together. 
Um, and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply real numbers. We want to multiply real numbers and the values of i independently. So we want to separate these out into uh, their simplified form each, and then we're going to multiply them together. And we're going to multiply real numbers together, independent of multiplying uh, numbers that are imaginary together. So let's see if you can figure this out. You can pause it and then come back. All right, so this is 2i times 4i is 8i squared. And we said that i squared is equal to negative 1. So this is negative 8. Square root of negative 4 times the square root of uh, negative 16 is negative 8. This uh, value square root of negative 1 is i. So I have negative 8i is my answer. That's the product of these four values. Uh, for b, I have 7i times 3i. That's equal to uh, 21i squared, which is the same as negative 21, times 6i, which is equal to 100, negative 126i. And then c is the square root of negative 24 times the square root of 24. If we simplify that, it's 2i root 6 times uh, 2 root 6. So remember, we're going to multiply the real part together. So it's 4 times i times 6, because the square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is 6. So I'm left with 24i to see. All right, so that brings us to your next classwork problem, 3.2.3. Let's see if you can manage these problems. You can pause here, please. Okay, so this is pre-calculus. I'm gonna go through this real quickly with you um, just as an added topic, and then we will uh, move on. <clears throat> I'm not gonna give you any work. <clears throat> so what is the value of the square root of negative 12 over the square root of three? So we're going to simplify them first, and then we're going to divide. All right, this ends up being equal to 2. Um, so no classwork problems. I'm going to give you these answers if you want to work along with me. All right, so now we want to um, add, subtract, and multiply complex numbers. We were talking about radicals. We did some multiplication of complex numbers already. Uh, so let's talk about what a complex number is. So a complex number includes both a real and imaginary number. There's a real part and an imaginary part. All right. <clears throat> so uh, let's talk about addition and subtraction first. When we add and subtract uh, imaginary uh, or complex numbers, we're going to add the real and imaginary values separately. All right. Um, so I have the quantity 3 plus 4i in parentheses plus the quantity 6 minus 7i. So we're going to start off with the two complex numbers in parentheses. Then we're going to remove the parentheses by distributing the positive sign across the second uh, complex number. So we want to, first thing we want to do is line up the equation. Second is we want to re remove the parentheses by distributing this positive sign. And in reality, it, what happens is we don't really change any of the signs for any of the values in the second complex number. And then we're going to combine like terms 3 plus 6 plus 4i minus 7i is equal to 9 minus 3i. All right, let's try another one as an example. Um, all right, so now we're going to subtract. So you have to be careful now. When we're subtracting, you have to distribute that negative sign. So what's going to end up happening in the second complex number, 6 minus 7i, we're going to end up changing the sign for each of those. So we end up with 3 minus 6 plus 4i minus a minus 7i, which is plus 7i. And that's negative 3 plus 11i. So you need to be careful when we do go through the process of eliminating the parentheses, we have to distribute that negative sign uh, across uh, the terms in the complex number. All right, so let's uh, take these two problems. I want you to see if you can do these on your own. So pause here, and I'm going to come back and give you the answers. All right, so uh, I'm going to remove the parentheses here. I'm distributing the positive sign. It just leaves all the signs on their own. 
I'm going to add the real numbers together. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. And then the imaginary numbers together, negative 3i plus 8i is 5i. So your answer is negative 2 plus 5i. And number 2, I'm going to distribute these values first. 12 plus 20i. And the same here. And then I'm going to make sure that I, I change really the sign. It's minus 2 times 2 is negative 4. And minus 2 times negative 6i is plus 12i. So I end up with 12 plus 20i minus 4 plus 12i. And I'm going to combine like terms. 12 minus 4 is 8. 20 plus 12i is 32i. All right, that brings us to our next set of classic problems, 3.2.4. Now let's see if you can take care of these two problems. Please pause to write these down. Uh, and then let's move on. Right, so we're going to talk about multiplying complex numbers together, and we're going to do that like we FOIL some factor for a quadratic or any binomial factor. So we have 4 plus 5i times 3 minus 2i. All right, and we're going to FOIL. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times negative 2i is negative 8i. 5i times 3 is 15i. Then 5i times minus 2i is minus 10i squared. Right, I'm going to combine negative 8i and 15i, that's plus 7i. i squared is negative 1, that's what we decided. So I have negative 10 times negative 1, which is 10. 12 plus 7i plus 10 is equal to 22 plus 7i. All right, so you can pause here and evaluate this. I'm going to go through a couple more for you. Let's see if you can do these. And then I'm going to give you the answers. So you got 36 plus 6i minus 6i minus i squared, which is 36 minus i squared, which is negative 1, which is 36 minus a minus 1, which is 37. Second one, a plus 3i times 2 minus 5i. Uh, you can look at the work. You end up 30, with 32 minus 34i. Right. This brings us to our next classwork problem. Please pause here. Uh, and copy this down. Okay, last part, we want to find complex solutions and zeros. <clears throat> uh, complex solutions to quadratic equations. All right, so I have a quadratic equation and I want to find the solution. Uh, so we're going to take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to subtract 4, take the square root, add plus or minus. I have the square root of negative 4, which we've just learned is 2i. Remember, you have to add plus or minus to the other side when you're taking the square root of a squared number. And the second example, I'm going to add 11 to both sides. I have 2x squared is equal to negative 36. Divide by 2. x squared is equal to negative 18. Take the square root of uh, x squared. I have to add plus or minus to the other side while I'm taking the square root of negative 18. Square root of negative 18 is the square root of 1 times the square root of 9 times 2, square root of 2, which is 3i root 2. All right, we're coming to the end here. Here's your last classwork problem, I believe. Okay, that classwork problem mislabeled is 3.2.4. It's your fifth classwork problem. Uh, find the complex solutions to these quadratic equations going through the process that I just gave to you. All right, uh, lots of info. That's it for complex numbers. Uh, come back and join us next time for our next section. Uh, we continue our discussion about quadratics.